Are you someone like me desperately waiting for the latest Pixel update? Do you constantly refresh your device to see if the update is available? Are you someone who is fed up with battery drainage issues and constantly needing to charge your Pixel phone? Perhaps you are someone who has given up all hope due to overheating issues. Don't worry, the wait is finally over and we have the latest update here to cool down all your problems. we've all been eagerly awaiting has arrived. Brace yourself for a wave of new features, crucial security patches and bug fixes. It's available for all the listed devices and for Pixel 4a it's 345 MB in size. Hold on tight, this update isn't just big in size, it is also massive in terms of relief it brings. We will get into the new features a bit later but before we get into that, let's take a look at the list of bugs Google has fixed first introduced as part of the previous updates and fixed in the current one because they were preoccupied with AI, 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 generative AI. Oh man, the frustrating battery drainage and weirdly annoying overheating issues have been killing me for the past month. It's here and finally fixed. At least they say that. I had some weird issues with Bluetooth connectivity with my watch and other wireless devices. I was also facing some glitches when the system automatically switches between the Wi-Fi and 4G data connectivity. There were some UI issues like misalignment, overlapping and weird behavior in the notification panel. Looking at this looks like these are fixed but I'll anyway give you the link in the description and you can check that out later. Let me know in the comments if you are still facing any of these issues. Now let's look at all the new features dropped by Google. Now you can ask your Google Assistant to start a safety check for some duration. If you are going out at night for some adventures and you don't respond to your safety check in the set duration, your emergency contacts will be notified and your real-time location will be shared. Similarly, in case of car crash, it can share your real-time location and call status to all your emergency contacts. Next one is for Pixel 7 Pro. Now I don't have one right now but the people who already own Pixel 7 Pro, you can check out the macro focus added as part of this update and it will definitely improve your experience with the macro photography. The next one is for the Pixel 6 and the newer phones. You will see a new gesture to click your selfies. You can just simply raise your palm to trigger the timer. I simply don't understand why other devices, the older devices are not getting this feature. It's hard for me to digest the older devices are not capable enough in comparison to the latest Tensor G2 or G1 chips. Now the two most interesting updates are in the wallpapers and I'm sure you were equally excited and eagerly waiting after the announcement in Google I.O. You can now create your own emoji wallpapers. Just go to the wallpaper settings and here you will see this new option of emoji workshop. You can create your own wallpaper by simply using this randomize option. It will automatically select various emojis and patterns for you or else you can choose all different emojis then select your pattern like you want them clubbed together and choose any color you want. You can save them and set them as your wallpaper. It's amazing to see how it adapts to the material you theme and accordingly adds the color accent. Now let me set this one as my wallpaper and this is how it looks with the light theme. When you touch your screen it gives this awesome effect. These emojis come to life on touching. Then there is another awesome flipping 3D animation when you unlock your phone screen. If you want, you can also edit these wallpapers. In the edit screen, you'll get this option to choose if you want to keep it as a live wallpaper or not. And also you can share these wallpapers with your friends and family. The next one is cinematic wallpapers. This is again meant for the Pixel 6 and the newer phones. Pixel uses here AI to transform your 2D wallpaper of photos into 3D scenes. It kind of gives this parallax effect where you or an object is separated from the background and it feels live and cinematic. I'm really disappointed in Google because this feature is again not available for the older devices. And we already have live wallpapers working fine in our older devices like in my Pixel 4a. It gives similar 3D effects and animation and I don't know how this is different in cinematic wallpapers. But at least we have emoji wallpapers and thanks for that Google. 
Another change is in the recorder app. Now you can export your transcripts into Google Docs. You can generate speaker labeled video clips and search for speakers within recordings. You can simply create video clips and customize the theme and layout here. They said this is only for Pixel 6 and newer phones, but it is available for all older devices like for my Pixel 4a as well. And as I mentioned earlier, they are just randomly choosing which devices are eligible for these features and which are not. And that's annoying. Next, the home control panel is changed. It is redesigned and it will enhance your experience when you are accessing your smart devices. Next for Pixel 6a and 7a, we have adaptive haptics introduced as part of this update. It can now lower its vibration intensity when it detects that it is on hard flat surface like a desk or table. Next change is in adaptive charging. Adaptive charging now uses Google AI to help extend the lifespan of your Pixel battery. When you plug in your phone, it can predict a long charging session based on your previous charging habits and slowly charge to 100% one hour before it's expected to be unplugged. I haven't observed any difference yet, but will let you know in case I find anything in the future. Next, we have two new Google Assistant voices added in this update. Here are the voices you can pick for your Google Assistant. If you like this voice and want me to keep using it, just stop here. This makes the total 12 in US English. I kind of like this new one and let's use it for a while. Now there are more changes if you own a Pixel watch and I'll add this link in the description and you can check that out later. Though I can show you one change in Spotify where you have a new tile to find all the latest episodes of podcast you are listening to. You will get this feature for all smart watches using Wear OS. Now the bottom line is that one, the battery drainage issues are gone. It doesn't mean you'll get any exceptional screen on time, but it's manageable. And two, overheating issues are resolved. And there is a slight improvement in the performance that I have observed as of now. I haven't spent much time after this update on my phone, but we'll get back to you with any performance, battery or camera improvement in my next video. Uh, don't miss that out. So subscribe to the channel for all the future updates and please hit the like button if this was helpful to you. And if you want to see quick tips on increasing your battery performance, that video is here. Until then, my name is Sushant. Keep watching. See you in the next video.